Great. We're with uh, David Campbell here at Gachet for the Salmon and Quarry Show. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Doing good. So you do a lot of uh, songs kind of dedicated or inspired by different uh, Aboriginal and Native peoples. Is uh, Why is that? Well, first of all, I should say, uh, as a, a creative artist for life, I write about whatever seizes me. Um, so that could be anything. So let me say that first. But, you know, my father was Arawak Indian. And I'm for years I studied what was done to Native people, not only here in Canada, but throughout the Americas. And so part of what I do as a maker of songs and other uh, creative things is to um, write about Native people of the Americas. And uh, that could be uh, about the Incas. I have a song about Atahualpa, the Inca emperor, uh, or the native people from my original country, Guyana. Or it could be uh, uh, the native people of the Pacific Northwest here. Uh, so for me, uh, there's no limitation that you put upon yourself when you do this work. It's wide open, and you do it depending on how something seizes you strongly, and then you go do it. So that's what I do. So you've traveled uh, many number of places, and you've, uh, you're now here in Vancouver. What brought you here? Well, I love, uh, this is my home now, and I, I love living here. Um, this combination of mountains meeting with the ocean, for me, is the ultimate combination of an Earth environment to live in. Uh, I feel strongly about that. I have about a 180 degree view from my mountains. And those mountains give me so much consolation, so much help just about every day of my life and their beauty. I'm all, I also am one of these people is in my imperfect way, I walk in beauty. So I see beauty everywhere and it, in a way it starts with mountains. And then when I go and walk about in my neighborhood, it's in the flowers or, or people or whatever else. But uh, so uh, being open to the beauty for me is a balancing thing to counteract the horrors that are in our world. If I just thought about the troubles and the horrors, I would go sick. If I didn't counterbalance it with the beauty, which has always been simultaneously available to us human beings. So I walk open to the beauty all the time, and that too helps me in my life. So the abundance of nature here is something you don't take for granted, uh, I guess, coming from different places to here? I never take it for granted. And here, I, everything is more bountiful. Seems the berries are bigger, the trees are bigger, the fish are bigger. You know, this is a very blessed part of the world and an uh, extremely beautiful part of the world. And for me, uh, having beauty in my environment nourishes me as an artist greatly. I remember before I, I moved to live here, I lived in Toronto. And I'm not going to bad talk poor Toronto, everybody slams Toronto, but all I can say is that environment did not nourish me. I came here to sing years ago. This environment started nourishing me from the time I came here. So I had to return here to live, and that's what I've done. Now, I've seen different um, kind of cultural struggles and in different uh, indigenous peoples across North America and coming into the west coast of BC, of which there are, there are struggles. Um, what parallels do you see, and also specifically within the salmon movement, uh, what have you seen? Parallels with what? Uh, different struggles between cultures, culture clashes, and how the, those kind of seem. Well, it's, there are certain central uh, underpinnings for the struggles of indigenous people throughout the world, you know, and of course throughout the Americas. Uh, with the invasion and what the invasion brought. And um, a part of it, I think, is where the, the society at large, the dominant society, doesn't value the beauty and the power of what indigenous people, whether it's here or anywhere else in the Americas, have to offer. Because when, when you live in a society that's dollar dominated, that's what happens, it follows. So a lot of issues whether it's a salmon or anything else, will spring out of that. The, the, the fixation of the dominant society on making money versus uh, the, the, the deep and ancient and beautiful cultures uh, traditionally of the people. So that 
uh, that background sets up a lot of difficulties and therefore a lot of struggles right down in the Americas. Uh, so do you think there can be a balance or will there always be uh, this conflict that will... Well, I'm, I'm an eternal optimist and uh, I, believe, I believe we human beings have the potential to become someday beautiful, magical, powerful, laughing, uh, living uh, creatures that we were always meant to be. We have been kind of retarded as a species. We've held ourselves back but it's waiting for us to claim. So I believe someday, who knows exactly when, these, a new consciousness will emerge that will, uh, will uh, put those issues that we're still struggling with behind us. But for one thing, we can't go on like that in, indefinitely, you know, making the same mistakes, having the same bad attitudes and all that, and expecting a different result. You know, so uh, I think the time will come uh, when we will finally be liberated right across the board, everybody, you know. But that, that's the vision, that's the wish. And of course, it has to be implemented <laughs> along the way for it to get there. Look to the sun, swimming upstream, dying so new life can go on. To the mountains, look to the ocean, they sing the hymn of our bright new dawn. We will not vanish if we listen to the song of the earth still telling us where it is we belong. Lift up your eyes. And rise from the grayness in the blue sky of your soul you can fly nourish the sea that sleeps deep in you watch the gray tree rise up to the sky be not afraid of the mouths that speak loud that doom and destruction only lie ahead Force of the spirit Power of the heart Will bring the bright dawn To the dark that we dread We will not vanish if we listen to the song Of the earth still telling us where it is we children, their young eyes can see the need for the wild land and bird, beast and tree. Look to the elders who speak for the earth. They are the keepers of land and of sea. We will not vanish if we listen to the song of the earth still telling us where it is we 